Alright, and you're standing in front of the brand new 3 liter Eco Diesel, which is huge news because I don't think there's been uh, a diesel in the light duty truck segment till since the 80s maybe, that was the last time? 70, late 70s, late 70s yeah. Dodge Ram had yeah. a diesel for a short time. Well, first off, it's a modern diesel engine, and what that means is it's very refined. It's very quiet, it's very smooth. All right, give it the juice. You don't have that white smoke and, and smell that used to have back in the 70s when maybe the diesels were in the 1500 market back then. And to do that, are you using urea to, to clean it up? Yes, that's part of it. That, yeah. The urea goes after the nitrous, nitrous oxide emissions, okay. which is uh, regulatory, of course, to meet emission requirements. Some of the other great features, though, is it's a dual overhead cam, 24-valve, 3-liter diesel, compacted graphite iron block. And the reason that's cool is it's, you can make a lightweight block. So unlike diesels of the past that are really heavy, this is very efficient but gets the structural requirements you need for a diesel. So it actually weighs only a little bit more than our Hemi engine, but provides this great diesel performance and fuel economy. By far, best in class in fuel economy in the pickup market. It's kind of a big risk on your part to stick a diesel into a light duty truck, because uh, let's face it, Americans have always been in love with the Hemi, mm -hmm. especially the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, right? And you're losing kind of that, that grunt and that sound, but you're gaining fuel economy and you're of course gaining uh, torque. So what kind of persuaded you to roll out this at this time? Well, first off, we love the Hemi also, and we expect to continue to sell a lot of Hemis. Coupled with the eight-speed transmission, it's 22 mile per gallon highway mileage. It's still a great powertrain, fantastic power and instant torque. It's a great motor. What we're doing with the diesel is offering an option. To somebody who's interested in great fuel economy, who still wants to be able to tow, this still has a 9,200 pound tow rating. So it's a, it's a truck can do a lot of work. How much um, take rate do you expect on these? Is it something that you even calculated yet? I mean, you must have figured out you know, how many people are going to buy these things. Well, sure. Of yeah. course, we make yeah. some estimates. And I don't want to speculate right now. We'll, yeah. we'll make, we'll build to customer demand. <laughs> <laughs> so, so everybody wants a diesel, you'll build all these. Yeah, we, we know there's a lot of interest. We, for years, have heard customers asking, why not a light duty diesel? There's a lot of interest. People know they'll get great fuel economy, great durability and reliability with a diesel, that it's always been a difficult business case because they are expensive and there's a lot to develop a diesel engine. We were fortunate at this point in time with our partners with Fiat, who, who half own VM Matori, who makes this diesel, as well as working with our Jeep brethren on the Grand Cherokee. We combined the resources and developed them together and that cut the engineering costs down by a lot. Yeah, and I made suppose. us able to bring this to market. So it's really not a big risk. I suppose We're, people are, I don't know, curious about the fact that it's not a Cummins. I mean, that's your other partner in the heavy duty truck. For sure. Yeah. Um, at, at no denying, we love our relationship with Cummins. The 6.7 turbo diesel Cummins is, a, is an incredible motor, best in the heavy duty market. They just didn't have something of this displacement that we were looking for. So it kind of fell in our laps with the partnership with Fiat that this engine was being developed already and we jumped on it working with Jeep to develop it for the Ram truck. So right. the displacement really fits the duty cycle and needs of a light duty customer.